Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix Bluetooth not pairing in your Windows. Now, there are a couple of steps to fix this issue. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is to open the Windows Action Center. Now, there are different ways to open Windows Action Center. One is you can press Windows key and letter A on your keyboard and that should open Windows Action Center. Another option is by clicking on the bottom right corner of your system tray and that should open the Windows Action Center. Now, under this, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on on your device in case if it is off, make sure you turn it off and turn it on or other way around you can turn it on by clicking on this option and at the same time follow the same settings on the device you're trying to connect if you're trying to connect a speaker or a headphone or a phone make sure you turn off the bluetooth on the device and turn it on once that is done then try to connect or pair the device and see if it is uh, fixing the problem now in spite of this if you're still facing a problem the next step what you could do is you can try to turn on the airplane mode on the windows and turn off the airplane mode and then try to pair your bluetooth device and see if it is working in case if it is working well and good you don't have to try the next step the next step is to make sure the bluetooth discovery is turned on on your computer now to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you are on the settings you will have to click on bluetooth and devices once you are on the bluetooth and devices you will have to click on devices and once you are on the devices scroll down and choose the option which says more bluetooth settings and under this section under options make sure the allow bluetooth device to find pc is turned on and also you can make sure these options are checked to you so that you have a bluetooth icon enabled on your system tray once you have checked these options click on apply and then click on ok close the window and then try to connect your computer or connect your device to your computer and check if it is working now in spite of this if you're still facing a problem the next method is to run a command to fix the issue now to do this you will have to open the command prompt by typing cmd in the search that should give you the best match for the command prompt you can do a right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now once you have the command prompt open you will have to go ahead and uh, type the command on your command prompt window you can copy the command from my video description and paste it here so you can do a right click that should automatically paste the command otherwise you can manually type the command sc space config space bth serve space start is equal to auto and hit enter so this should give you an option which says change service config success once this is done you may go ahead and restart your computer and then try to pair your bluetooth device with your computer now in case if it works well and good you don't have to try the next step now in spite of all this if you're still facing a problem the next step is to run the diagnostic tool to fix the problem to do this you will have to type cmd in the search window and it once you have the best match for the command prompt, you can do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes. Or Once you have the command prompt open, you will have to go ahead and type the command msdt.exe space minus id space device diagnostic. You can also copy and paste the command from the video description. Once you have this command, hit enter. This should open the diagnostic tool for hardware and devices. Choose the option which says advanced and check the box which says apply repairs automatically. Click on next what this will do is this will try to detect the problem on the computer in case if there are any issues related to the hardware or any devices it will try to fix by itself wait until the diagnostic tool is being uh, successfully executed once the command is being executed for the diagnostic tool you would see a mesh option which says restart your pc to finish installing the drivers and updates you will get an option which says apply this fix and skip this fix close this window close 
close the command prompt window, restart your computer, and then try to check if you are able to pair your Bluetooth device with the computer. In case if it works well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, in spite of trying all this step, and if you are still facing a problem, the next step, what you could do is you can try to run a system file checker on the computer. To, to do this, uh, you will have to open the command prompt by typing CMD in the search window. Once you have the best match for the command prompt, you can do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, once you have the command prompt open, you will have to go ahead and type the command SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. So what this will do is this will go ahead and check if there are any corrupt DLL files on the computer. It will try to check the system integrity uh, and it will have to go ahead and complete into different phases. Once uh, you have the uh, system integrity check completed, you would see a 100% completion status. Once that is done, you may go ahead and close the window and then try to restart your computer and try to connect your Bluetooth device on the computer. This should definitely fix the problem. So in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.